The priesthood is not some man-made brotherhood created in the early days of the organised church. It was in God's plan from the beginning. Throughout scripture we see God calling individuals and setting them apart. God created us a holy nation, a kingdom of priests. From the tribe of Levi chosen to mediate between God and man, to the sacrifices offered by Melchizedek, all leading towards and coming to perfection in Christ, the eternal High Priest. While on earth, Christ called the apostles and commissioned them to make disciples of all nations and baptise them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, to teach the world all that he had taught them, and this is what they did. They, through prayer and discernment, appointed others, and by the laying on of hands passed on the authority that had been given to them by Christ to teach, preach and make sacrifices. Following the instructions of the Lord at the Last Supper, priests throughout history have spoken his words, broke the bread of his body, drank the cup of his blood, and our priests still do, and continually answer the call of Christ to do this in memory of me. doesn't go unnoticed. It's just... It's impactful. It has an effect. It's significant. It's... It's important. Good though. Good and important. What do you think? Fuck, man. I'm so nervous, mate. This is your fault. I need it, but man, I need it. I don't have to do it, man. I can't go back. Exactly. The last place I want to be is on this boat with you, mate. <laughs> Jesus, you dick. <laughs> no, just repeating history, you know what I mean? Just feel like I've come so far to you. I mean, better my life. Get myself together. You gonna hold this against me? Well, we'll see how we'll see how it turns out. I'm George. Danny. Sorry, I'm a bit shaken up. <laughs> How old are you? 24. Is 
to my kids. That's Ricky. He's the eldest. He's just turned four. And Sean, that's the little one. He's two. Some say that after you've had children, there's no more fun, but that's not true. Every week's an adventure. Have you got any? <laughs> you, you all right? Why are you here? What? The type of people who play this game have nothing to lose. They're desperate and alone. But the type of people no one cares about, that no one will miss. That's not you. You have everything. What could be so wrong in your life you would risk losing everything? There's one thing you realise when you become a dad. There's nothing you wouldn't do for your children. Sean was born with a defect. A hole in his heart. The doctor said it would heal over time, but it hasn't. I don't know, saying there's nothing they can do for him and he hasn't got much time left. But there is a procedure. They can grow the missing piece of heart back. But it's a private firm. They won't even consider you unless you can give them eight grand up front. I'm working two jobs at the moment just to put food on the table. I haven't got eight grand. But I've got the game. I'll do anything for my boy. Anything. You don't deserve a hole in your head any more than your boy deserves one in his heart. Good men shouldn't have to risk suicide to save an innocent child. Thank you. <laughs> 